Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this quick video, I'm going to cover how to add a contact form to an Astra Starter site with WP Forms. So, once you import one of these demo themes here on Astra, you a lot of times, if you go over and you don't have Elementor Pro enabled here, and you go over to where it says Contact, your contact form disappears. So, it doesn't quite look like it does in this preview if you actually preview the site over here you see it says request a quote and it has all these different things and a contact form and then when you actually install it it actually doesn't have any of that in here and I just wanted to quickly go over how to add the form and how to edit the form if you want so if we go back over to the dashboard area we're going to have this on the left side up bar that says WP forms and here we can start to edit the forms. If you don't have that, you want to go down to plugins and add WP Forms Lite, which you can search for. Go to add new and search for. So if we go up here to WP Forms, the current one says inquiry. So if we go back over here, we can go to edit with Elementor and it will reload the page here. And now if we click here, we can see that there's a WP Form short code with ID 143 and if we go back here we can see that this short code has a completely different number 964 right here for it so let's just go into and click edit and we can see it has I believe all the same things that the original one had if not it's a little bit different but we can start to edit this inquiry form here so it looks almost just like we want on the front page maybe you want it to look a little different I'm just going to go through how to edit it so it says name email phone number you might not want to have phone number here let's just get rid of that one and we can click OK to delete the field number of employees I'm going to delete that and I'm going to delete the next two as well and let's just say this is for something else and we can add in different things such as maybe a paragraph text box and you could really have that's a pretty standard form right there you can also add in check boxes drop down you can do a single line text multiple choice numbers you can do different things but let's just say I like how that one looks how it is right here you can click down here you can change this contact me for the submit button text you can change this to something else like reach out to us and I'm just gonna save it and then I also want to go to where it says settings notifications right here and I want to make sure that the send to email address is the email that we want to receive these contact form messages to so if I wanted to go to my personal email I'd have WP with Tom at gmail.com and I would put that in right here and again just save it now if we were to X out of here up in the upper right we're gonna take this short code here copy it and we'll just go right back over here you want to click in this area and where it says enter your short code you're just going to paste your new one in there and now we have the different text obviously I'd want to change where it says paragraph text and improve what that actually says so it doesn't just say paragraph text there I could just say your message or I could put that in the description where it says your message right here and save it if we update it we're going to see the changes are reflected so let's just do that I'm going to refresh it and now it says your message at the bottom so you can easily create a contact form here with this free to use WP forms plugin and add it to Elementor if your contact page isn't showing up or if you want to change the text you could easily go and edit the text right here on the screen and let's say you want to delete that you can delete it and it's really easy to delete anything or make changes right there in the WP forms area here in the back end and then you simply just have to save it exit and there you go your form set up and it's easy to have this contact form on your page now to be able to receive inquiries that you might be getting so I hope this was helpful thanks for taking the time to view this short tutorial on how to add a contact form to an Astra starter site with WP forms if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Thanks for viewing. Have a great day.